So I've made this uh, short video on uh, subdivision load lines. Uh, these are load lines which are generally found on passenger ships. So I'll just show you what they look like and uh, what are the purpose of this load lines. All right, so subdivision load lines are actually assigned to passenger ships depending on the extent of subdivision of ship's length where the ship has spaces which are used for the carriage of cargo and or passengers. Uh, the ship may be assigned to load lines named C1, C2 and C3 as you can see in the picture on your screens. So you can see there are three pictures that are shown here. Uh, the first one has a passenger vessel with no allowed subdivision load line. Uh, you can see where the load line C1 is marked on the ordinary load lines. In the next one is a passenger vessel with one allowed subdivision load line. Uh, you have C1 and C2 there just located below the freshwater load line. And then in the third drawing, you have the passenger vessel with two allowed subdivision load lines where you have the load lines C1 and C2 just below the winter load line. Uh, if you pause and if you zoom in, you can also see the dimensions of the load lines, which are very similar to the ordinary load lines. Now these load lines C1, C2, C3, they indicate the maximum depth the ship or in this case the passenger ship may be in the particular condition of loading. Uh, they are normally marked forward of the load lines as assigned under the International Load Line Convention 1969. So a good idea here will be for you guys to draw these load lines and uh, of each of these cases so that uh, you can distinguish between the load lines, the ordinary load lines and the load line C1, C2 and C3 as assigned to the passenger ships. Now we talked about uh, subdivisions. Basically uh, spaces, uh, there are certain spaces that are not suitable for carriage of passengers. And those include any deck uh, below the deck immediately below the deepest subdivision load line any decks or any between decks where the minimum head clearance is less than 1.9 meters, any space forward of collision bulkhead or vertical upwards extension thereof, any spaces in lower decks that are located forward of the 10% of the length from the forward perpendicular, any spaces on the weather deck if the sheathing provided is not to the satisfaction of the administration. Administration here in this case is the flag state. And finally, where special trade passengers may be carried in foul weather, any space on the weather deck shall be included for the carriage of passengers. So you can see these are the spaces listed which are not suitable for the carriage of passengers. Other than that, there are subdivisions of course on the ship where you may carry passengers and or cargo as well. So I made this short video just to for those of you who asked me on what are subdivision load lines and how they or how they are distinguished or different from the ordinary load lines. So I hope this was a short enough video and useful for you to answer any questions that you may get in the exam or the orals assessment. I'll see you soon with my next video guys. Bye.